Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we are blasting New Jersey's dethroned emperor, moral nihility, NVNM Productions with Joe Averse Neo and T Warrior involved here. Recorded between December 2012 and January 2013. I have number 58 out of 100. This was my first NVNM pickup and one of my fucking favorites to this day. This is one of the most underrated slabs of grind in the East Coast vicinity. I don't know why more people do not talk about how fucking good Dethroned Emperor was. And I know the NVNM is restocking some classic releases on their label. So, keep your fingers crossed, because if you see this bad boy, grab it. Because I know they're putting out the New Jersey Attack Metal Volume 5. So, don't sleep on that if you have the money. Because it's a fucking banger. And Dethroned Emperor is just one of those bands that, trust me, if, they get, if this gets reissued... Wow. This is so fucking good, like, this deserves to be on 12 inches of wax. It's just one of those releases, every time I put it on, I'm just like, why does nobody talk about this fucking band? Which is why you have to respect New Jersey or prepare for combat. So, speaking of combat... Today we're going to be talking once again about Life After Death Records. This is Cleveland, Ohio, Grinders, Manic, and this is Mangled. Six tracks of insane, hate-fueled Cleveland Grindcore. Featuring members of Atomic Witch... This reminds me of old Relapse Grindcore. Back when Relapse was the fucking shit. Seriously, this sounds like the drum machine off Frozen Corpse Stuffed With Dope by Agoraphobic Nosebleed. It's that fucking savage and hateful. Yeah, it's awesome. And the cosmetics with the barbed wire... I should know who these wrestlers are, but for some reason I'm drawing a blank. I don't know if like IWA Mid-South wrestles in Ohio. I think they do though, but I think that would be the death match, you know, federation out there when it comes to the indies and whatnot. But GCW also, I know they have shows in Chicago now. GCW is fucking blowing up. And let's hopefully, you know, hopefully they don't go the way CZW went. Where DJ started, you know, kind of making CZW a weak, like, indie. And that shouldn't, I, I, I don't want to go into wrestling talk. But, like, Look at a GCW roster. There's kind of, you know, a little something for everybody. There might be some light tubes in a match that you wouldn't expect there to be light tubes and barbed wire and, you know, fucking gusset plates and whatever else weapons you want. But, like, one day I'm going to make a video and talk about my love of pro wrestling starting back when my dad would take me to WWF at the time at the Spectrum which led to me finding ECW and us ending up at the end of you know the day with ringside ECW seats section A row 2 fucking I miss my dad so much and every time I hear that ECW ECW every time I hear that chant it like I, I, I don't know, it just reminds me of my dad and puts a smile on my fucking face. And the same goes for the drum programming on Manix Mangled. On these six tracks of just complete, savage, unadulterated grind. 
This fucking rules. Seriously, I can't get enough of this. The vocals are more like routed in power violence and hardcore, and that's fucking awesome because it works so well. Like, this isn't death grind. This is straight up savage, hateful, sonic poison. And I'm not talking about the grind band Sonic Poison. This legit is Sonic Poison. So good. And, like, if this would have came out, you know, 20 years ago, this would be on Relapse Records. Like, without a fucking doubt. But Manic, Mangled, these six tracks, you have Meat Grinder, Mangled, Bleach Your Bones, which is my personal favorite on here, Shapeless Mess, Recreational Anger, which has a different title on Bandcamp, and 187. I think Recreational Anger on Bandcamp is called, like, Get You Lit, or something like that. I, I forget. Are you nuts? Are you nuts eating cigarette butts? I don't know what that's from, but I can't get it out of my head. I, I was playing with my nephew, and I just kept like, so I was like, Are you nuts? Are you nuts eating cigarette butts? And he doesn't know what a cigarette butt is, but like, I'm like, where the fuck, where is this coming from? Like, is it from a skate video, a bike video? I don't know! What I do know is Life After Death fucking rules, and so does Manic Mangled. Like, if you're a fan of fucking just straight-up savage grindcore, you can't go wrong here. It's insane sounding. Like, it legit sounds like, you know, what you would think a fist fight would sound like between Cleveland and Youngstown, Ohio. I have nothing but bad luck when it comes to Youngstown, Ohio. I mean, I might have told you folks the story of one of the... I'll give them this. It was a good scam on their part. But there was this truck stop right off... Like, as soon as you get into Youngstown, there was, like, this truck stop. And there used to be this sick skate park called Section 8 that we would drive from my house in Pennsylvania, right outside Philly, and we would drive like six and a half hours to Youngstown, Ohio, just to ride the skate park. They had like all night sessions on Friday, and then we would go to Chenga World on Saturday. But like, I know Ohio pretty well, and Ohio hates me. And when I listen to Mangled, it makes me wish that, no offense to <laughs> Life After Death, which I know is based out of Youngstown, Ohio, but this makes me want to go and fist fight the population of Youngstown, Ohio. No rope, barbed wire, deathmatch, 200 plus light tubes, four panels of glass with gusset plates super glued to the glass. I'm down. Are you, Youngstown? Not really, that sounds way too brutal. Maybe we'll get slack over there. But that's legit what man Manic Mangled make you feel like. This is the perfect soundtrack to a deathmatch tournament. Like, if you're watching, like, you know, the best of Nick Gage or something like that, throw this on and fucking enjoy the carnage. Because that's what this is. It's fucking grinding carnage. And I love it. Like, I can't think of enough adjectives to properly describe how fucking sick this is. But if you're a fan of drum machine based over the top grind, meet your new favorite band, Manic Mangled. Perfect title, perfect production. And this was recorded in isolation purposefully, which I also thought was a nice touch. But I'm trying to get that barbed wire there. You can see it a little bit better there. How badass is that? But yeah, if you're a fan of fucking, you know, completely savage grindcore, you can't go wrong with Manic Mangled.
and I'm gonna actually throw on meat grinder for you so you can hear how fucking sick this really is. I don't know if it's sold out or not, but if it is sold out, maybe it will get a second press because it fucking deserves it. But we were blasting New Jersey's dethroned emperor, moral nility on NVNM Productions. Respect New Jersey or prepare for combat. This is some more just killer fucking grind and I love it. Super pissed off stuff, but this time from New Jersey. See, we could have a battle. Manic versus dethroned emperor, like fuck yeah, but this is a lot more traditional where this is just a lot more, there's a little bit of a mortician influence, but just in the drum machine. But to me, it sounds a lot more like early agoraphobic nosebleed up to agorpocalypse. But it's fucking great. Like, I really love this shit. And these six tracks are just enough to, like, wet my whistle and get me fucking stoked. And, yeah, this requires multiple plays. And you'll find yourself playing it multiple times over and over again. Great vocals, great riffs. Let's throw it on real quick and hopefully you enjoy this as much as I do. Hails to Eric at Life After Death for sending this my way. Because this is so up my alley, it's ridiculous. But I'll get into that Youngstown story a different time. Because it's kind of long and it's just... It's a crazy story. Like, it doesn't even sound real, but... It happened, I lived it, and anyways, let's put on Meat Grinder by Cleveland, Ohio's Manic, off of their debut, Mangled. Let's do this. <laughs> Alright, Manic Meat Grinder. <laughs> Fucking savage shit. Manic mangled on life after death. Get a hold of this if possible. Thanks for watching. Here's a brick from the Buddy Holly Memorial in Lubbock, Texas. There's a reason I have this. But again, it's a tale for a different day. As always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. <laughs>